The last little thing I, would, I wish to look at is the example of heterogeneous catalysts where we have the oxidation of methanol or methanol to methanol. Um, and this is essentially a, an experiment to show the surface. Well, there's a couple of things. First of all, it is an example of a heterogeneous catalyst, but also you have the surface adsorption theory as well. Um, much like the catalytic converters where it well would be surface adsorption theory. But in any case, uh, what the setup here is you have a T-piece carbon piece of cardboard and onto that you have some tin foil and then you have the platinum metal which again is the same catalyst as used in the catalytic converter, the same metal, it can be used at least. Um, and that there's a little wire of it and that's attached or it's, it's clinging to the um, the tin foil which wraps around the carbon T piece uh, and the, the tin foil effectively will prevent the carbon from being burned uh, and then you have methanol methanol is placed here at the bottom as a liquid it's an example of a an alcohol and um, it, it's a very very toxic alcohol to humans alcohols are actually a family of compounds and methanol uh, is the smallest one of them and it is used in things like white spirits and that so it's a highly highly toxic uh, causes blindness and death so it's a to humans it's highly highly toxic um, but in any case it is oxidized and this is actually what happens uh, it's oxidized from methanol which is CH3C or CH3OH uh, that's essentially a uh, what you have is a carbon and onto the carbon you have three hydrogens one two three and then you have a single bond to an oxygen and another single bond to a hydrogen so you have a hydrogen here ch3 uh, and there you have it so that's an example that's what's known as this compound right here which is ch3 c ch3 o h um, and what happens in this experiment in the presence of oxygen and the catalyst platinum we have the formation of this compound which is called methanol and it ends in al it's a compound known as an aldehyde so if i was to draw it here for you you would have a carbon uh, and then you would have a double bond to one oxygen uh, you would have a single bond to a hydrogen right here and if you count up count up the number of bonds this carbon has there one two three so now you know the carbon would of course have four and then that carbon has another hydrogen off there uh, so that's where the formula hc ho comes from there uh, and that's the little aldehyde that is produced uh, anything that ends in al is an aldehyde um, anything that ends in o uh, OL will be an alcohol. So there you have the methanol and there you have the aldehyde that's produced from it, methanol. And as you, if you were to count what happens between here and here, there's a loss of hydrogens. Now normally oxidation, in terms of leaving cell, we'd always classify it as a loss of electrons. Uh, in organic chemistry, it's sort of a shortcut that you can use is the loss of hydrogens normally means that it has been oxidized. Uh, now that's not a great way long term but it's a, it's a it's useful for leaving cert chemistry and in this case you see there's a loss of hydrogen between here and here um, to, to work out the oxidation states and the loss of electrons here will be a bit of a task so, so it's easier in organic chemistry to think of it in that way um, and then also you have the production of water so water is also formed or normal water molecule uh, but this is an example of the heterogeneous now when the experiment goes forward what will actually happen is the platinum wire will heat up, so, so it will heat up to a point where the methanol that's produced will effectively burn. Uh, so that's one of the things you need to remember. Uh, these little explosions, if you like, uh, they're due to the heat that is given out. Now platinum metal will glow in this experiment and that means effectively that it's an exothermic reaction. Um, and that's a nice example of a... Uh, that's a nice example of a exothermic. Now we haven't talked too much about exothermic reactions so far, but it's effectively a reaction that gives out heat. Um, and those 
there'll also be a popping sound. Now the popping sound is from the production of hydrogen. Hydrogen gas is produced during this experiment as well. And that hydrogen gas popping, uh, you, you might remember that from junior cert as well, that the popping sound is associated with hydrogen gas burning. So that's the last of the experiments. A nice one. It's demonstrated. It has come up in the exam papers a good few times. Um, methanol is quite a distinctive smell that's present as well. The tea piece here acts as a chimney. Uh, aluminium foil, foil I said already. It's not overly clear in this, but it would be here. It wraps around the tea piece, uh, protecting it from burning because it's cardboard. Uh, and the glow, the glowing will actually this little platinum metal. It will pop for a little while and then it will stop glowing and the popping will stop and that has actually got to do with the presence of a catalytic poison so we mentioned that before as well it blocks the catalyst or inhibits the catalyst in this case the catalytic poison is actually carbon monoxide uh, that happens because of the combustion uh, or the oxygen effectively occurring in a lack of oxygen uh, so that happens it happens again in car engines anytime or in houses even anytime you have a lack of oxygen you can have the production of carbon monoxide from the burning of hydrocarbon instead of carbon dioxide uh, this experiment this um, this balanced equation right here uh, you you should know for leaving cert but again uh, as, as you study more organic chemistry this this would become much simpler to you uh, and the structure of these two compounds as well.